Hi, I'm Mia Schulte and I'm the Teaching Kitchen Operations Director at the Ursa Family YMCA. As always, I wanted to say thank you for supporting the Y during this time and I'm excited to bring you another cooking recipe from my own kitchen this time. We are going to be making Dutch Baby Bee pancakes. This is one of my favorite recipes to do with my kiddos in the teaching kitchen and it's something you could easily do together at home working on measuring and mixing. Um, I would like to thank Smitten Kitchen. I'm using the recipe today and it's super simple and super fun. So to start, I'll show you the ingredients that we have. We'll be using all-purpose flour, sugar, I have kosher salt, but you can use any table salt that you have on hand. Um, whole milk, if you don't have whole milk, you can sub it for any milk you have on hand. Just maybe increase the butter at the end of the recipe so that the fat content's the same. I've got four eggs cracked, I have three tablespoons of butter, and I have powdered sugar. To start, I'm going to dump in my eggs to my mixing bowl. I'm gonna use a pretty big size mixing bowl today because there's a lot to add in. And I will um, mix these up pretty good. Want to make sure they're combined. During this time, I also have my oven preheating to 425 degrees and I have my cast iron skillet in the oven while it's preheating. You can use any oven safe dish that you have or you can use any oven safe pan. Just make sure that the handles won't melt or anything like that. So I have my eggs mixed up and now I'm going to add my salt. I'm going to use a fourth teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'm going to use um, my flour at this point and that'll be a half cup of all-purpose flour. If I had kids in the kitchen, I would have them helping me uh, measure, level things off, and then definitely help mix, it in, mix stuff in. So I'll combine this. I'm just looking for a consistency where the lumps are gone. are pretty much gone and now I will add my um, half cup of milk I'm just gonna mix it till it's smooth all right we have it it's pretty smooth and I'm going to get ready to put it into my pan. Um, a fun, all right, a fun thing about Dutch baby pancakes is they can be uh, both sweet and savory application. Today we're gonna go with a sweet option, so I'll add a little bit of sugar at this point, but if you're gonna do savory, you could do um, ground black pepper and stuff like that, and we'll talk about toppings at the end. So I'll just add my last ingredient, which is a tablespoon of sugar. Mix it in. You'll notice there is no rising agent added to the recipe, like typical pancakes would have a baking soda or maybe a baking powder in it. The eggs are actually going to act as our rising agent in this um, recipe and they'll help puff the pancake. So I'll set this to the side and I'm going to get out my pan. Alright, my pan has been preheating in the oven. Um, the oven's set to three or 425 degrees. And I'll add the butter. And this pan is super hot, so this would be an adult-only step. And I'm making sure the butter gets all the way up the sides of the pan. You don't want anything to stick when it goes in the oven. and coated. And we'll put our batter in and then I'll go back in the oven. Alright, this is what it looks like before. 
It'll go in for about 12 to 13 minutes, and then after that time, I'll start checking it to see how the pancake's puffing up. We're gonna pull our pancake out of the oven. You can see how it's billowed and puffed up the sides, the middle set and a little bit rippled, and then you've got the nice golden brown color all the way around the outside. Um, we've chosen to do a sweet application today, so I'll go ahead and top it with powdered sugar. Um, you could definitely do strawberries and Nutella. You could add peanut butter and Nutella. You could do bananas, um, any kind of fruit that you have. If you wanted to do savory, you could do grated cheese, black pepper, sauteed vegetables, ham, maybe bacon or fresh herbs. So it's nice that you have a lot of options, but today we're gonna do powdered sugar. There you have your Dutch baby pancake. As always, I wanted to say thank you for supporting the Y and hope that everyone's taking care during this time. Thank you.